Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So I'm gonna be doing this makeup right now. There's technically two different looks, not really, it's just really different colors. So for anyone who wants to go for more of a lighter look with a little bold eyes, then that could be another part of this tutorial. But otherwise, I do like my lips a lot more bold. So I do like the idea of wearing a darker lips, but it's okay because I did a more universal eye makeup, so therefore it can basically go with any kind of lips you want. So let's say if you want to go for more of a day look, then feel free to pop on a really nice you know, daytime gloss. Otherwise for me, this is pretty much my day tonight, so it doesn't really matter to me, but I really do hope you like this tutorial. I'm gonna try my best to go really in depth with what I do and stuff, so that way you guys um, won't miss anything and how I do my wing liner. I didn't technically film the whole entire makeup, as in like I only just focus on more of the eyes and the lips, but if you do want to know how I do my makeup, like my face complexion and stuff, feel free to like or comment comment down below to let me know that. I mean, I do have some of my previous video where I do show how I do my makeup, um, face complexion and whatnot. But feel free though, just because I am super down to film another tutorial talking about why I use and what I use and how I do it. But uh, further ado, if you want to see this look in process, go ahead and continue watching it. And yeah, like always, subscribe, like, comment if you have any suggestion or any questions at all. Anything irrelevant to I'm down to jot some answers down. So I hope you enjoy and continue on watching. So let's begin. I'm taking Melt Cosmetic Rug Stack Shadows in the shade Rubbish, blending it out with the Morphe brush in M441. I'm going to be building on this color since it is the main tone of this look. The shade will gradually darken as you go over it with a couple times, so don't be afraid to layer it. But do take the time though to blend it out just because you don't want to rush into another shade. And this is a really gorgeous color, so really just take your time and blend it all out and gradually kind of build it upwards to your eyes. As you can see right here, I'm literally just placing it on my lid and just kind of gradually building up. So moving forward with the shade Rot from the same stack shadows with Morphe M514. Yeah, M514. No, wait. M514. Yeah. Sorry. Um, this is to deepen the outer corner of the eyes and where I'd go in to smoke out the look. And again, take the time to gradually build this color on, but make sure to go high enough to see the shade, but not too high to hide the rubbish shadow, since we want to make sure to show the radiance of this mustardy tone shadow. I'm going back in with the same brush I used in M441 to blend and making sure there are no harsh lines or shadows. Plus, I want to go over a little bit with rubbish shadows to enhance it a bit because I want to make sure that is not hidden by the darker shade. Next, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay's Liquid Moon Dust Eyeshadow in Space Time. I'm going to directly pop it right onto my lid and use my finger and quickly spreading it outwards and patting it, um, making sure that it is evenly distributed. Um, because it dries really quickly too, but this is probably going to be the best part of the eyeshadow since it's super glittery and pretty. So going back in with this super duper gorgeous Dijon Mustardy shade, I'm going to pack this right on the bottom of my lid with the same brush that I've used in and really just smoke it out. I do like my eyeshadow to be really super duper smoky, so unlike me, if you want to go a little bit lighter, feel free, but I'm gonna really just build on with this color. Now going back in with um, Morphe brush in M501, I'm really just gonna dust off any um, fallouts and just really splinter around the edge. I just like the idea of having everything really super smoky as you can tell, so blending, taking the time to blending it out will really make a huge difference. It is time to line your waterline. I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills dark side waterproof gel liner so you gotta work pretty quickly with it just only because it will dry pretty quickly on you um, but right after I blend it out with MAC 213 brush just to kind of blend out some hard edges and not leaving it so look so danky there I don't know <laughs> Time for some coffee break, y'all. You gotta need your coffee. But anyways, going back in with the same brush, I'm literally going around the edges just to make sure that the color is really well blended and just really taking the time to go around the look and kind of just blend everything out when you see a weird separation between the two colors. So yeah, go ahead and do that. 
back again with the shade in Rot by Melt Cosmetic um, with MAC 213 brush. I'm going to deposit this color in the outer V just to deepen up the look. Um, but really do take the time to kind of go into that smaller crevices of the eyes. Um, I'm doing small circular motion just to kind of deepen up the look. Now take this time to go back in with Morphe M514 just to kind of clean up any harsh edges. Let's move on to some wing liner. Going in with my absolutely favorite gel liner by Tarte. Um, it also comes with a lining angle brush too, which I fell in love with to use um, to wing out my liner. It's my favorite because the pigmentation is like super incredible and it being in a squeezy tube too, I find that it helps with preventing from drying out quicker and more sanitizing in my opinion, rather than dipping your brush directly into a pot. So it's a 10 out of 10 for me. So what I did so far was loading up the brush, um, going in from the inner corner, working my way out. I'm going to zoom up close just so you can see a bit better, but I'm scoping out my line as far as I would like. Um, and then working from the tip in a back and forth motion just to straighten and smooth out the line. I already went ahead and did on my other side, so now I'm going to show you how to do the inner corner cat eyes, which I always, always do. So up close with the same brush, I tend to flatten out this brush and then just doing a quick small stroke and kind of just build your weight up. Um, but as you're doing small stroke, you can kind of see how it's starting to build that really nice um, wing in the inner corner. So that's usually what I would do. And also, forgot to mention too, just to be sure to take your time on doing this part just because it is a little intimidating, especially using such small strokes for one area. So really breathe and take your time. Yay, the hard part is over. Going in with Tarte Tardis Mascara, I'm going to really build that drama up in there. Um, and don't forget about your bottom lashes too, just because that is the part where it will create drama. I don't know, but it looks nice when you do your bottom lashes. So uh, I skipped some stuff and already went in with my brows. Um, yes, the brows makes a huge difference. I unfortunately did not like the way I did my brows here, but obviously it looks like I was feeling it, but who knows. This is literally my favorite part right here is to apply your lashes because for me, lashes makes a huge, huge difference. I'm wearing Claire by Soto Wire Essential. Like always, I will have a discount code for you, so that will be listed down below. But my absolute favorite, all-time favorite, I mean, look at me. I'm like feeling it already. Just one lash is on, y'all. Just one lash is on. Imagine what happened when both of them are on. I seriously cannot get over myself here. Like, you can tell that I was, like, seriously feeling it. Um, anyways, going in with some lip products, I'm using NYX or NYX Cosmetic, whichever, um, lip liner in natural. I'm just gonna really line it out, filling in with the same pencil, and then going over with a gloss. Once again, coffee break. Going on top of it, I will be using a gloss. Um, it's by The Balm um, in their Read My Lips collection in the shade Snap. It feels so nice. It's super buttery, super smooth, super opaque too. It's not like crazy sticky either, which I find it to be really nice. And it does have a minty feeling to it, so if you like that, highly recommend. Going back in with the same lip liner just to kind of define the lips a little bit more. Then you are a done, my ladies and gents. Yes, I know. The sass is super real here. Like, look at this bitch feeling herself. Like, I can't even with myself, you know what I'm saying? But wait, there's more. Trust. I did tell you that I'm gonna do another lip color, so let's go right onto it. So for the special finale, I'm using the liquid lipstick by Too Faced in the color Evil Twins. Um, I do like my lips to be a bit darker. Well, not even a bit at this point. It's like super dark, but I love it. I like using it with a um, lip brush just because it will apply it more evenly um, rather than using the thing from the tube. I forgot what those are called, but you know what I'm saying? Like, it will give you more much cleaner 
um, edges. But by also cleaning up with concealer in a concealer brush too, it will definitely define the lips a bit more. Yes, girl, the look is done. The sass is on another level, like, bam. <laughs> yes, we are done, so hope you like this look. Well, guys, we are done with this look. I really do hope that you like the progress or the process, process, whatever, um, of how I did this look. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't so in depth with every part of it, but I promise you, if you let me know what you would like me to film next, I will be so down because, of course, I will always need some new ideas to film, and I'm really down with all that kind of new stuff. So. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoy this and like I said, if you prefer the bold look, then you can always change it up to this color. I mean really, any color will, will do with this eye makeup look. Um, but yeah, well, that is it. I really do hope you enjoy it to the end. And please support us because we try our, we're trying our best to get ourselves out there with any tutorials. Obviously, I've been promising a lot of that with all of you saying that we will do tutorials. But um, now is the time, so yeah, just like, subscribe, and comment down below for any further details. I hope you enjoy your day, and see you next time. Bye!